found probable cause. Kayante Murphy is facing two new counts of sexual battery. The alleged victim, a 16-year-old student at Pearson's Taylor Middle High, where before he resigned, Murphy had worked for five years. According to the police report, this new victim told authorities he felt as though he had to do it. It was the teen's mother who sounded the alarm. She said Murphy and her family were longtime friends, but after Murphy was accused of sexually abusing a 14-year-old on campus, mom questioned her own son, who then alleges he was called out of a morning class by Murphy and was informed to go to the middle school ISS classroom. There, the teen claims he performed oral sex on the campus advisor and volleyball coach, then went to the school auditorium where they allegedly had sex in a bathroom. As in the case with the alleged 14-year-old victim, the 16-year-old claims the two had previously conversed with one another through Snapchat as well as through text messages. Sheriff Mike Chitwood says the alleged abuser's behavior fits a profile. You see the, the grooming of them. You see how it's somebody close to them, somebody that they trust, somebody that they would never in a million years uh, think bad about. The 16-year-old told officials the alleged sex acts at school on the same day were the first time it happened, though the boy says the two had previously exchanged inappropriate pictures. After Murphy was first arrested, he allegedly made comments about fleeing town, so his bond was revoked. The judge today upheld that no-bond status. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.